Okay guys, we're gonna get a little fancy with this one. So follow along, I'll try to go slow and explain every step because I want you guys to see how to take part of an image, how to highlight it, uh, how to transform it, how to copy it, how to paste it. It's gonna be a, a lot of steps, but I think you guys will be able to track through this pretty well. Now this is an image I got from Dollar Photo Club. I just wanted it for the sausage picture. And I'm gonna take my uh, square selection tool here and I'm just gonna take this part here. All right, I'm gonna, mo I'm gonna get as much of the fork as I can. This is the only part that I want. Now I could do one of two things. I could just crop this down and just work with that image, or I could copy this and put it into a new image. Now I wanna copy it into a new image because I wanna work with an image the size that I expect to upload later to uh, Merch by Amazon. But I'm gonna do the same thing I've done before, 3600 by 3600 to make that 12 by 12 that I will then make into a 15 by 18 before I upload it. Uh, I just think it's kind of a best practice unless you have a reason to completely fill up the front of a shirt. So for this, I'm gonna command C, or you could also control C, or you come up to the top and you could copy. Now I'm gonna command N or file new. And you see it's giving me these uh, dimensions here. Uh, I think it's for the whole image. So let's do 3600. 3600 and I just wanted 300 pixels per inch. Oops, I did something wrong there. 3600, 3600, 300. That looks a little better. Now I'm gonna paste, command V or edit paste uh, or control V depending on what kind of computer you're using. So now I've got this image in the, uh, the 3600 12 by 12 square. Now, remember from before, the uh, magic wand. So I'm gonna select all of this yellow and I'm gonna delete it. And I'm gonna select this yellow and delete it. And this one, and this one. Now I could certainly add to selection and uh, you know delete them both at the same time or I could delete all four of those yellow pieces at the same time. But I, I kind of went one by one. They were easy to make. It wasn't, a, wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, so a little trick I wanna show you here is I wanna stretch this down, right? I want this fork to be a little longer. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you with control plus, and I'm just going to highlight this bottom and I'm gonna command T for transform or edit transform. And I'm just gonna stretch this down. Look at that, nice and easy. I'll double click to apply that transformation. And there we go. So I have pasted the image, I've transformed the image, and I'm still just here working with one layer. Okay, so now I've got a longer fork. Now I might look at this and be like, you know what? I don't think it's really gonna pop on a light colored shirt. I wanna put a, a black outline around it, right? I wanna put a stroke on it. Now I could do a few different ways. Uh, if I double click here and do stroke and it's kind of thick at 16, so I mean, what if we took it down to five? It looks pretty good at five. Uh, you know, that's one way to do it if you want to put a stroke or an outline around the entire uh, layer. All right, but let's take that off and show another way. Um, I like using the magic wand tool so I can highlight the entire outside, add this to selection, add this, and add this. Now I'm gonna select inverse, I'm gonna basically select everything else without having to go through and pick every color. So if I select inverse, now I've selected the inside instead of the outside. Now I can certainly come up here to edit and stroke and do it this way. And I kind of get the same result. There are gonna be different times where each one of those processes might work better for you than the other. Um, you see now I have this image. Now. I can take this whole layer, maybe I wanna make it a little bigger, and then command T, and or go up to uh, uh, edit, transform. Uh, I encourage you guys to get good with the keyboard shortcuts, it's gonna speed you up. Um, now I can take any of these boxes and I can stretch this out. Now this is stretching, right? Because I'm not holding down shift, so I can squish it, I can do anything like that. Now I'm gonna command Z to back it up. Uh, I want you guys to see what happens if I hold down the shift key. The shift key keeps the aspect ratio. Okay, so it's not squishing in or out or you know side to side, top to bottom. Uh, it just stays the same. So if I wanted to fill this up, 
with the same aspect ratio. I might do it like this. And of course, I can get that center line by moving the image over and double click to apply that transformation. And here we are. We've got a uh, 36 by or 3600 by 3600 image that we have taken from another image. We've taken out the background. We've transformed the size a little bit. We put a little bit of an outline on it. Uh, we've done a bunch of things. Um, really pretty easy to do. So maybe watch this video again if I went too fast on some parts. But if you can manipulate images like this, if you can take out the parts of images that you want and manipulate them, uh, make them with the outline so they're going to pop on uh, different colored shirts, you have some good contrast, you're going to be well on your way. I can certainly add some text to this. This is a shirt or an image that I downloaded so I could say, um, you know, sausage, you know, there was an article about sausages causing cancer. So I made a shirt about it. Uh, I want to use a, uh, a picture with an easy, simple picture of sausage uh, and kind of see if I could capitalize on the trending news stories that were going out around about bacon and sausage. And, uh, you know, it was really easy to do. So some simple image manipulation. I hope it helps you guys make some great shirts.